Hello Kang friends, so today we are going to see results of our uh, weekly challenge find and color uh, for the last week for the prompt bow and arrows. Uh, it turned out uh, that uh, not common a prompt that you can easily find in coloring books, though in my personal collection there are a very big choice of suitable illustrations uh, but I've got only 63 illustrations for this prompt it's uh, less than our usual number uh, still a lot but simply uh, less than usual um, uh, some people just couldn't find fitting illustrations and it was surprising for me uh, Maybe someone didn't feel uh, that much inspired by this topic. Um, anyway, we've got quite a choice of illustrations from different uh, artists. Uh, our usual leaders, Hannah Carlson, Corber Rosanes, are here. I was surprised to see pictures by Joanna Besford and Rita Berman because um, these artist you don't expect uh, something like arrows from those artists <laughs> on their illustrations but nevertheless you will see um, then we'll see uh, some variety of zodiac signs um, a game of thrones uh, hobbit illustrations um, joseph kattenbank again so quite quite a variety i think it's going to be interesting for you too as it was interesting for me and what I have colored uh, personally I had a very good choice of illustrations so beautiful and I wanted to color them all but of course I had to choose in the end I decided to start with uh, illustration from coloring heaven gothic alchemy special I had only one completed page in this book and so I decided it's time to color something else. It's a grayscale book. Uh, there were three illustrations and I have chosen this one. Uh, though uh, this illustration uh, was not one of my favorites because there was a lot of grayscale here. All this background was in dark gray but I decided to experiment to try coloring the dark gray scale. Uh, here I tried different technique than uh, what I used in previous illustration where I colored a picture just with Faber-Castell polychromos and here I decided to use uh, um, alcohol markers as a base level and then to work with uh, color pencils. Uh, I tried Prisma colors here and I'm not that happy how they behave on this um, paper. Um, you can't layer actually. Then I tried uh, Dorvent Lightfast. Uh, those are really good here. Uh, and um, what else? I, I tried Brustro colored pencils. They're also good here. And that's what I've got. I don't know. What do you think? Um, how does it look? I mean, all that gray. Um, I'm not sure. <laughs> it, looks, it looks fine, I think, um, but I'm still not sure whether you can see that gray uh, through I tried my best and I'm not sure whether it's better to use alcohol markers or there is no difference. So I, I need to try again, I think. On the whole, I'm quite pleased with the result. It looks a little bit um, scary maybe, uh, creepy, all this red and this um, black angel I call her. Um, 
And so I surprised after this illustration, I surprised myself and colored second illustration. Yeah, I had a little bit more time and I was really inspired by this prompt and so I wanted to color something else. And I decided to finally start this coloring book, Tales from the Stars by Anna Bianzinska. And I colored my first picture in this book. There are also three illustrations here for the zodiac sign, Sagittarius or Sagittarius. And I colored the first one, this lady with a bow and arrow. And that's my result. Again, red colors, a lot of red, orange, yellow, but uh, this uh, illustration looks more warm, more cheerful, uh, no creepy or scary looking. Uh, on the contrary, like there's a lot of light, um, warmth here. Uh, why all these colors? Because uh, this zodiac sign belongs to fire. And so I decided uh, to use these colors in when you look at this zodiac sign, you straight away understand that it's a sign of fire. I used uh, very good paper in this book uh, from this publisher, always good paper. And I used uh, Posca pencils, uh, worked beautifully on this paper and then Durant light fast again perfect um, also used acrylic painters because there was a lot of black lines here and I covered all that with acrylic painter all this yellow and here as well on the whole I'm quite pleased with the result uh, it looks just as I have imagined so these are my illustrations for this prompt and now it's time to see all the works that were sent uh, by you for this prompt uh, so let's go <music>
such was our gallery of works for the prompt bow and arrows. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thank you everyone who took part in last week's challenge. And now, of course, it's time to choose another prompt. And for this I'm taking my magical box, so to say. <laughs> and um, let's find out what we're going to color during the next week. I don't know whether I should be happy or not that happy chameleon. Uh, you know that I'm not a big fan of coloring animals, uh, though I, I do sometimes, uh, but it's not my favorite topic. And chameleon, I think it's one of uh, those animals that it's not that easy to color because, uh, because of the those colors that chameleon can be and his um, body shape um, I think this character is rather common in coloring books comparing to some other animals I, I, I think in one of Anastasia Kudreva portraits there is a chameleon um, in one of Kirby's books, maybe Joanna as well, and uh, I can't remember exactly what books, <laughs> but I know that, that I have seen this character quite often. Here or there you, you see some chameleon sitting on a tree or on someone's shoulder, something like this. Uh, so, I think it's going to be a curious search. I'm off now and see you in a second. So friends, I'm back. It did take me a little bit longer time uh, to look through my collection in search of chameleons. Uh, turn out that there are not that many. I was able to find um, quite a few, uh, but uh, they are all wonderful um, and still there is a choice, not like only one illustration and uh, many books, um, many colorists uh, have in their collections. <clears throat> Let me show what I have found. Uh, Joanna Besford Magical Jungle. There are three illustrations actually in one book. And the first one is this one. So you can see, not uh, that uh, big scale <coughs> chameleon rather simple illustration but it's actually double spread but of course you can you can color only one uh, page then uh, second one is this one like the main character of this page quite large size chameleon in Joanna style and there is another one this one like two chameleons. I believe uh, they are chameleons. Uh, nice. Rather simple illustration as well. Uh, then Anastasia Kuldrevi. I did remember that there should be one portrait with a chameleon in Kuldrevi um, illustrations. And yes, it's from Mysteria. And we have this wonderful portrait and no less wonderful chameleon. So detailed and so nicely drawn. It would be a pleasure to color uh, this picture. Then Circle of Life. Uh, many of you have this book and of course when I saw this book straight away I remember that there is a chameleon here. Again, very detailed and nicely drawn, would be, again, very enjoyable to color this guy. 
Then I have uh, this book, Lush Life by Durin Castle. More simple styled chameleon. Uh, but again, if you use bright colors, uh, the picture can turn out rather uh, nice and beautiful. Then Coloring Heaven Starry Night Special Illustrations by Wishan Ung. You know that I love uh, this artist. I love her illustrations. And I love this one. <laughs> that is called Queen Camellia. Look at all these chameleons, aren't they cute? <laughs> Love them. And she's such a beauty, a real queen. Really love this, this picture. Uh, then the Star Rain, Polina Guskova. Another more simple style portrait with a chameleon on her shoulder. Would be nice to color this one because I have this one completed and would be nice to complete this one as well. And then I found one uh, printed illustration from Wild by Nature coloring book by Leslie Smitherlingale and this one is called Chameleon Fairy. Again I like the idea and several chameleons here quite interesting uh, so as you can see uh, there is not big that big choice of illustrations for this prompt but quite enough and um, all of them are really nice and interesting to work with so i hope you will find some or other chameleon in your collection and will be able to take part in next week's challenge and that was all for today see you next time bye